because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has chosen us as a special people. Uh, he has given us his laws, his statutes, and his commandments uh, pertaining in the book of Deuteronomy. So the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6, we are Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's chosen people. And it reads in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6, it says, But for thou art an holy people unto the Yahweh thy power. The Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Yahweh did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people. We were not, we were not a great multitude compared to the, the other nations that were upon the earth. Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is going to go on to, to, to show us why he chose us as a people. And read on, it says, For ye were the fewest of all people. Verse 8, But because the Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, have the Yahweh brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the head of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. All right. This is in Deuteronomy after the book of uh, Exodus when Yahweh by Shem Yahweh with his great power and might uh, used the vessel Moses to bring us out of the uh, the kingdom of Egypt. All right. Under the hand under the hand and the rulership of Pharaoh. OK. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh he has made a promise unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he will uh, give us the uh, land of milk and honey, um, and that we will be a great multitude of people. But right now, we're under the curses, and we're going through our punishment for, for going against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's law, statutes, and commandment. If he is the heavenly father and we are his children, well, I, being a, a dad myself, if my child were to go off, you would punish that child uh, especially if they they know better all right so we as a people we knew better we had law statutes and commandments and we have went off uh, from our power so Yahweh by Shimei Shai has punished us all right so let's get what uh, you know now that we know that we are the nation of Israel so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans starting from the uh, the tribe of Judah to Reuben unto the Iskarites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. All right, get this uh, this knowledge because in the book of Proverbs 1, verse 7, it says the fear of the Yahweh Bashim Shai is the beginning of knowledge. All right, so let's, let's, let's actually get that. It's not roughly paraphrase the, the scriptures or the words that we do know, and we'll just bring it out. It says the fear of the Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we are to fear Him because He is a a, a a fearful power. All right, and it reads in the book of Isaiah chapter thirty and verse one. We're gonna start at verse one. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Yahweh, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin." All right. How about Shem Yahushua want us to walk in his law, statutes, and commandments under his word, under his Holy Spirit, all right? For there's many spirits out here that be not of Yahweh by Shem Um, But we are to walk under his covering so that we may be protected. But, you know, our, the wicked of our people, the two-thirds, they, they wish to walk under the ways of Esau, Esau Edom. And that would be the so-called white man. Uh, but pretending to the Bible, he is the devil, all right? Or the deceiver, or Satan, he is the adversary of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He is the opposite of our power. All right, so let's get that. Let's go ahead and bring out the milk of the scriptures and the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and it reads in verse one. It says, "And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Yahweh thy power, to deserve, to observe, and to do all his commandments which I have I command thee this day." that the Yahweh will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That is our lot. That is our, our blessing under Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We follow his, his law, statutes, and commandments. We follow Yahweh Hashem Yahweh ways, and we will be set on high 
not through our will, not through our righteousness, but because we are following Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. And it reads on. It says in verse two, it says, "All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Yahweh thy power." Verse three: Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of the ground, thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep blessed shall be the ba thy basket and thy store blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out that Yahweh shall cause thine enemies which would be our number one enemy would be Esau, Edom, so-called white man, and our uh, these other nations outside of the nation of Israel, because they, as it pertains in the book of Psalm, uh, in the book of Psalm, they are confederate against Yahweh Shimei Shai's people. They are together against the nation of Israel. They are against us. They are our enemies. All right, and it says, and the Yahweh shall cause thy enemies to rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face they shall come out again against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways Yahweh Shem and Yahweh said our enemies will come up against us uh, as we were following his ways and, and his laws and commandments they will come up against us but the, the same way they came out they will flee seven ways all right um and the verse 8 says that Yahweh shall command thee, command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and all that thou settest thine head unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Yahweh thy power giveth thee. The Yahweh shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, and set, and set apart people, a separate people unto himself, if thou shalt keep. The commandments that the Yahweh thy power of the Yahweh thy power and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Yahweh, and thou shalt they, and they shall be afraid of thee, and the Yahweh shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of the ground, thy ground, and in the land which the Yahweh swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, uh, one of the titles of Yahweh Shah, that he is faithful and true. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah promised unto our forefathers, uh, promises unto our forefathers, and he shall keep them. All right? Um, and the reason verse 12, that Yahweh shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. All right, and the Yahweh shall make thee head, the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above, above only, and thou shalt not be beneath if that. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Yahweh, thy power, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, all right? And, and if thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. So we are to keep the law, statutes, and commandments and not go left or right off the path of what Yahweh Shem Yahushai has set to serve these other nations gods. All right. Yahweh Shem Yahushai is the only power. He is the only God. All right. And I'm talking to the nation of Israel, so-called blacks and Native Americans, so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans in your respective tribes of this 12 tribe tribe. All right. And, uh, in verse 15, I'm going to stop there. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Yahweh thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, command thee, 
statutes which I command thee this day, that all the curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we go off of the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh He will send curses instead of blessings upon our people. And this is going back to the time of our forefathers, when the law, statutes, and commandments were given unto our people uh, via Moses, his vessel, and uh, our forefathers basically went off the path. They chose the curses instead of the blessings. All right, so that's why we are in this predicament of not knowing who we are and being on the bottom, being set beneath, being set low above all these nations that are upon the earth instead of set on high as he promised us. All right, so uh, yeah, you can read all the curses on down from verse uh, 16 all the way to verse 68. But I want to get verse 68 in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. It says, and the Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. This is Deuteronomy. We were brought out of Egypt. We were brought out of Egypt in the book of Exodus. All right. And it says, By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. When it says, No man shall buy us, no man will deliver us out of this captivity. And when it says uh, the bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women, all right? And when it says, uh, and thou shalt see it no more again, it's talking about our nation, our, our, our national heritage land, which is uh, Israel over in the uh, quote unquote Middle East, which there's no such thing as Middle East, all right? And it says, and the Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. When it goes into Egypt, it's going into the house of bondage. It's not talking about the land of Egypt, all right? For this place where I'll be in captivity is America, be America in respect of places that other brethren are scattered to. This is uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt pertaining to the scriptures, all right? So in the book of Exodus 20 and 2, to back up the house of bondage, or Egypt being the house of bondage, Egypt chapter 20 and verse 2, and it reads, and the Yahweh and, and, and power spake all these words, saying, I am the Yahweh thy power, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt. And it already gave us the land of Egypt. And it says, out of the house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage. I'm here in America under the captivity of the, of the Edomite rule. I am under the house of bondage. And your respective places, whether you be in Europe, Africa, wherever you want to call it, you are under the house of bondage if you are under, um, if you are an Israelite, all right? The curses are upon you, but we are to come back to his law, such as commandments, so that we uh, may break the curses. And number one, we should believe on Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, but the only way we'll get through the Father, Yahweh, is through Yahweh Shah, all right? Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, okay? And uh, my phone is pretty much about to die. Um, Lord willing, I'll charge it up and we'll get more into the lesson. But uh, I'm going to read this in the book of Hosea. The book of Hosea. Hosea, however way you pronounce it, uh, chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. The Habat Shem Yahushai has, um, he has not forsaken us, we have forsaken him. And we are to remember ourselves in the land of our captivity. But as pertaining to the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We do not know who our, our power are, and now we know we should repent and we should come back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So these are the things that are to become of uh, befall the planet Earth via Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. It is prophecy. In the book of Edris, chapter 15, and we're going to start at verse 6. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their harmful, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, th therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, 
neither will I suffer them in these things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complaineth continually. And that's what we're doing right now. We're on the highways and the byways. We're complaining to our power. We're prophesying through his spirit that Yahweh Shem Yahshai get us out of this wickedness through salvation, through Yahweh Shem Yahshai, through believing on Yahweh Shai, uh, prophesying unto this wicked kingdom uh, that it shall fall. All right. Yeah, America will be destroyed. All right. Wherever you are scattered to on this earth and you are Israelite, you are under these curses, it will be destroyed. We must repent to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for the salvation thereof. All right. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, no, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, and we're going to read, we're going to start at verse, we're going to start at verse 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble, all right? We shall adore, endure the things that Yahweh Shimei uh sends upon us in our lives because it's all under his command, all right? It says, in verse 2, it says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him. Who is the him? Yahweh Shimei all right? And it says, And depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, all right? Yahweh Shem Yahweh is faithful and true, like I said in the beginning of this lesson. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right, the ultimate trial, the ultimate adversity is coming upon the earth and it is the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Uh, in the book of Jeremiah, verse 1 and verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And we are the prophets of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. We are prophesying that the downfall of America, a.k.a. Babylon, the mystery horror of Babylon. All right. And let's not forget. Uh, the trials and tribulations that must befall the planet earth in the book of jeremiah we're gonna read verse 30 and verse 7 it says now chapter 30 verse 7 it says alas for that day is great that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it all right yahweh shimei esau the wicked he uh the devil shall come upon us having great wrath because he know but he hath but a short time, all right? I think that's in Revelation chapter 12 as well. We're going to see. All right, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. To rejoice, you Israelites. Specifically, we're talking to the elect. We're trying to uh, wake up the elect or seal the elect so they can be sealed from the destruction of Yahweh by Shem It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe means destruction. Woe to the inhabitants, inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Esau know his kingdom hath but a short time, and it's about to come down quick. His kingdom is about to fall, all right? So, uh, also, in Revelation chapter... Uh, chapter 13 verse 16 and this is the end all be all Esau's kingdom this is what he's aiming to do because he is the devil all right um, and it reads and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that no man might buy or sell say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and who is that man esau edom all right the so-called white it says and his 
and his number is 600 three score and six 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 and we're out here for the let read it verse 14 and verse 1 it says and i look and lo a lamb stood on the mount zion and with him a hundred of forty four thousand having his father's name written in their forehead in their hearts and in, in, in the oh, in the word heart going back into the paleo hebrew it means your mind yahweh we have 144,000 his name sealed upon his men's heart or or his mind all right so with that i want to say shalom lord willing this was edifying my phone is about to die you know uh we'll get that charged up and lord willing we'll be out here to start another lesson all right we are the nation of israel we are to come back to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Get this truth. Seek, seek Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. All right? Double honors to the elders and apostles. Shalom to you, Akin, and you, Aqua. Shalom to the elect.